This is what you need to realize. Being addicted to porn is a sign of poor mental health. But even more, it's a sign of a void or emptiness somewhere in your life. Something is missing. It could be loneliness, it could be a lack of purpose or a lack of love, but something is missing and you need to realize that. If you had great mental health and you were happy and you were surrounded by amazing friends and you had a loving partner, a loving relationship, you would not watch porn. You wouldn't. So what you need to focus on as you are trying to quit is not trying to quit. Instead, you need to shift your focus on designing and creating a life that you love. Filling your life with moments and experiences and things that make you happy. You need to focus less on how difficult it is to quit and focus more on the beauty of creating a life that you love where it's so fulfilling that porn would literally be a step down for you. And here's how you do that. Good morning, boys. So like I said, in this video, we are going to be talking about how to design a beautiful life that you absolutely love where porn doesn't need to be a part of it. And the first step to doing that is to brainstorm all of the ways that porn is currently destroying your life. I think that one of the most important things to do when you're pursuing any new goal is to think about all the ways that your life currently sucks. And it's a pretty sobering process and it might make you sad, but you also need to realize that knowing how bad life is right now and just being honest with yourself about that will give you extra motivation to pursue that new goal of quitting porn. So I want you to sit down right now with a pen and paper and write down all of the ways that porn is currently holding your life back. I did this same exact process myself when I was trying to quit and some of the things that I came up with was that it was destroying my motivation to approach real women. It was making me less focused. It was making me socially anxious. It was making me less motivated. I would literally waste hours watching it. Now, one of the biggest ones for me and also one of the saddest is that I wasn't able to stay hard with real, beautiful women anymore. And overall, I just wasn't happy with it. So again, just sit down and brainstorm all of the different ways that porn is currently holding you back. Step number two, define the exact lifestyle that would be fulfilling to you. So what you need to realize as you're quitting porn is that the goal isn't to quit porn. The goal is to build a beautiful life where porn doesn't need to be a part of it because life is already so beautiful. Porn should not be something that you're restricting yourself from. Normal day-to-day -day life should just be so amazing that you have no reason for it. It should literally be a downgrade to go from what your daily life is like to what it would become like if you were to watch porn. So the goal in this step is just to define exactly what type of life that would look like, that would make you so excited on a day-to-day -day basis so that your life feels completely full without the need for anything else. So spend an hour just thinking about what you want from your life financially, what you want from your life in terms of your social life, what you want from your life in terms of how you want your health to be and your fitness. Where do you want to be living? What kind of person do you want to be dating? What are you going to be doing in your spare time for enjoyment? What kind of person do you want to be? What are your values? You need to think about all of the things that go into creating the life that you want for yourself. And if you're struggling, one of the things that you can do is think about the type of life that you would hate. Think about the absolute worst type of life that you can imagine for yourself. What would that life be like? And then, imagine the opposite. So basically, for me, I know that I would hate a life where I'm trapped at a nine to five job that I hate. And I also know that I would hate a life where I have no deep friendships and connections around me. So from that list, 
if I can see that I hate a life where I'm trapped with a nine to five job, then I'll probably love a life where I have my own business and have complete freedom. And if I would hate a life where I have no deep connections and deep friendships, then I will probably love a life where I have deep connections and deep friendships. So you can also use the things that you hate in life as motivation and as ideas for what you might love. And I want you to really go all out on this list because you want to have a very specific vision for what you want your life to become. Because what you need to realize is that this life that you're defining is going to be the motivation and the fuel as you are removing pornography from your life. You need to have something beautiful to work towards as you are removing pornography from your life because it's such a deeply ingrained part of your behavior. Step number three. Once you have finished defining what your dream life would be like, the lifestyle that would be so engaging that you wouldn't need porn, now what you need to do is find the top four things on that list that are the most important and the most meaningful to you. So look over your entire list of all of the things that you came up with and find the four things that bring you the most joy just from reading them. What things are the most important to you? These should be the four things that if you manage to create them in your life, your life would completely transform. So just spend a couple of minutes finding the four things on your list that would be the most meaningful and the most impactful for your life. Step number four, and trust me, this one is extremely important. Many people stop at this step because this is where things start to get hard. This is where things get serious. So what you need to do now is look at those four things from the last step and I want you to come up with an action step that you can repeat every single day that will help you to move closer from where you're currently at, closer to where you want to be in that specific area. So for example, if one of the four things that you listed down was that you want to have an amazing body, then a daily action step for that could be working out for 15 minutes a day. If one of the four things for you was that you wanted to become a more social individual, then one of the things that you could do as a daily habit is just being sure to try to meet at least one new person daily. Just starting a conversation in the grocery store or at the park or wherever you're at and just being a more social, open person and not being so closed off to the world. If one of your four goals was to have a beautiful, amazing girlfriend, then one of the daily habits could be just being sure to talk to one new girl a day. It's not that difficult as people make it out to be. As you're going through life, you see an attractive girl, you walk up to her, you say, hey, I wanted to meet you. What's your name? Hold out your hand, she shakes it. If she asks for your name, she's at least somewhat open to you. If she doesn't, conversation's over, get out of there. Rinse and repeat. The point is that no matter what area you are trying to grow in, you need to figure out what specific habits will allow you to grow in that area and you need to repeat them on a day in and day out basis. And that is what step four is all about. And once you have those habits in place and you focus on repeating those day after day after day, then your life will naturally improve. And what you will notice is that porn will naturally slip away because you'll be so focused on creating the life that you want for yourself. And you know the best part? You know the best part? Over time, you are going to become the type of person who deserves that life that you want. Life is not going to give you something that you don't deserve. But if you are constantly focused on doing the habits that will create that life for you that you want, then you are going to get there over time. And through that process, you will become a much, much better person. As you're focusing on repeating those habits, porn will naturally slip out of your life because you're gonna be so focused on your daily action. And step five is just to begin putting the action in. You have already defined the exact life that you want for yourself. 
you know exactly where you are headed. Now you have two choices. You can choose to stay where you are at right now, addicted to porn, living a shitty life, not enjoying anything. Or you can choose to make a move for the better. You can choose to implement those habits in your life and focus on designing the beautiful life that you want for yourself and that you know you can create if you just stay consistent. The choice is completely yours. Listen, I can guide you to the water, but I can't force you to drink it. Like I said earlier in this video, pornography addiction is able to grow because there is some emptiness or some void in our lives. So the purpose of this process is to design a full life where there is no room for any voids. And when you do that, pornography addiction naturally leaves. You don't even need to think about it, it just happens. But please keep in mind that none of this is going to happen overnight. It is going to be a tough process. It is going to take months and years. You will most likely relapse, but that is okay. I want you to shift your focus from I'm quitting porn to instead focus on I'm designing a beautiful life for myself. That should be what inspires you to quit. The idea of a beautiful life that's on the other side of the mountain just waiting for you. And you can get there. You can get there and you will get there as long as you decide to be consistent. Listen, I know you can do this. I struggled for years before I was able to fully quit porn. Um, if you wanna hear more about my particular story and my experience and my struggles, but also all of the improvements and how life has completely transformed since then, you can watch my video about that right up here. But anyways, I know you can do this. You know you can do this. It's gonna be worth it. Until next time.